I want to share with you backgrounds. How, what backgrounds do you create? In this case, these two bears are in water. So this, I'm in the early stages of creating this structure of water. In this case, what I did was I used a fiberglass brush all up in here. And I just simply went up in here, creating the illusion of, you know, moving water, just creating highlights, nothing more than that, or subtleties, or I could go off into the space, just do very, very, very lightly. Now the advantage is here, I can always come back and I'll explain what materials I would use to do that. But you can see how subtle I can be. And you can see here where I came and just came up and create the illusion of motion in the water. Small term ripples. In the end, once I've got the background that I like, now I can come back in and start to create the real highlights, all the bubbles and the mist in the air and all of that. This is all the easy stuff. It's where do you start and where do you stop? And here it continues to go up very subtly. So I'm going step at a time. So one thing I've done is I can take and go and I could just use a sponge here and moisten it. Not a lot, not a lot of water on at, at all. And you can see already I've got some ink going on there. And then this is a um, sandpaper uh, tool that the cos um, cosmetic industry uses um, when scraping off your feet. Go get your pedicure, they round off all the rough spots on the back of your heels and feet, etc. So I'm just using tools that I've found or asked about over the years. I could have wet this again, get a little more water. Show you how this, what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna try it. Um, so that's a sanding block and I'm, use, I'm gonna use the fine part randomly over this moving it the whole time, trying to eliminate any pattern that may come up. You can see I've already got a little bit of structure going. So I'm just going step at a time. There's no right or wrong way to do this. And you can see already I'm creating this backlog of ink. So if I just wipe and keep because I want that grit here, now I can take a paper, just kind of dab it, model it. If I want to open it up a little more, I want to model it a little bit more, I can take it, open it up that way. Now I'll, put some, I'll start piling the water on here. See, in this one, I just create this, and I'll just go up and follow this pattern here. And this would be, you know, nothing more than a scotch guard. Just be more aggressive with it. And that went all the way to white, which I don't want. Now it's got a little bit of, I like what I'm doing now. And then, let's find out what kind of damage I did. Well, that's too white of an area. Okay, I'll back this up. I'll use my shade stick. still have the sponge here. You can use it also what I like to use is a sea sponge, but it has a little pockets in it, which is probably more appropriate. I just, for this demonstration, I just use a scotch. And I'll wet it. 
You can see already I've got a little bit of pattern to it, like that. Interesting. I like that. Now, if you don't like it, take a clean part of the sponge, a little water, you wipe it all off again. So all of this is recoverable. It's almost dry, you come back in here and create even more highlights. Or you've got this, here you got a Kleenex with very little structure to it to take and diminish the contrast, make it more subtle, and really do it all again. This area here is going to get darker. And then I can come in here again with the fiberglass insert after it's dry. And then I can start to create, you know, little highlights like this or a little, uh, maybe I want highlights like that, two droplets. Create the illusion of the spray that's thrown up as these two rascals wrestle. Now, after I'm all done, if I don't like it, I can come back with sponges or sea sponges and take the shade stick and do it again and create the same thing with color. And I would use ink, in that case, transparent ink, and I could do the same thing. I could overlap the ink with the same effects over that, and it'll add another dimension. So it's really, you get to experiment with it. In the meantime, happy scratching. <laughs>